All right, here we go. Watch what happens when I press this button. Oh, 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 oh. This is fluid flux in action. Um, simulating water as it travels over geography within the landscape. Let me just unclick that. How nice is that? How pretty is that? Oh, that's crazy. That's so cool. Um, let's see, we can even go so far as to select our little actor here. Switch to move mode. Watch this. Watch this. <laughs> oh man, that's so cool. That is so cool. Whoop. Technical issue. Don't mind the tech. Don't don't look in that. Don't look. There's nothing to. Oh, never. Wait. Greetings, gentlemen and ladies. Today we are going to have a little bit of fun with a fluid flux plugin. I'm going to show you how to use it. I'm also going to show you how it works. That is assuming that we don't entirely destroy my computer and graphics card. It has a little bit of trouble processing uh, slightly larger areas, but let's kick things off. So what we've got here is an inconspicuous looking waterfall minus any water. No water in this waterfall. Well, let's do something about that. Uh, so for from your fluid flux plugin, uh, like I say, that's going to be a part tutorial, part show and tell. Uh, you can head on into the simulations uh, section and then go to blueprints and then look for the fluid uh, BP flux simulation. All right. So once I drag that in, uh, my graphics card still OK. It's still all right. So this size of fluid is OK. Uh, this is basically the, the square in which the fluid simulation can occur. If fluid gets to here, it will no longer be simulated outside of the confines of this box. That is kind of how it works. And then we're going to, in a minute, drag in the fluid flux, the fluid part of the fluid flux flow, blah, 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 free fly flow. Anyway, let's um, make a, an adjustment. So we got our fluid flux uh, actor here, and we just want to do a couple of things. Actually, we want this fluid flux simulation. And then down as you scroll, downy, downy, down. I've noticed that it doesn't seem to, you can move it around like this, that's fine. But if you scale from viewport, it doesn't seem to do anything. Scale or rotate doesn't seem to do anything. So instead, to change the um, scale and, and depth of the fluid flux actor, and we want ours to go down a little bit more so it covers the ground and also covers the top, the top and the ground. Um, something like something like that, I guess. There's our pretty good starting point, I think. Uh, what we want to do, so I think from, from my understanding is wherever it's kind of traced out with fluid is going to be the top point, I'm pretty sure. It's, that's kind of the boundary box. Even though the boundary box looks like it's a little bit higher up, uh, I'm pretty sure it is the the mesh traced line at which is the actual ceiling of fluid simulation, which kind of makes sense. It's it's visual. It it you know it makes sense. <clears throat> so uh, I'm gonna get kind of the starting point there, maybe a little bit higher up. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're going to go to change the resolution. Now resolution changes the size of this box. Um, area of simulation in the world, area resolution. I, I, I suppose these are a tiny bit different. Um, I, actually, I'm not even sure if these are different or the same thing. Uh, here's the world height. So this one will increase the height of the fluid flux simulation. So I'm going to increase that to 25. That, and the bigger you go, the harder it's going to work your video card, just so you know. The bigger you go, harder your video card is going to be taxed. Um, so you kind of want to align it so that you only go as big as you need to. Um, I think I want to go a little bit longer than this. So one is Y and one is X. X and I forget which way goes which. So I'm just going to start by increasing that. Okay, so that brought into the left and to the right. I'm going to put that back, 256. I'm going to increase that a little bit here, and that brought us more forward. So now we could actually watch the fluid simulate downwardly a bit into the, into the creek. Uh, and I think we're not too big yet. I think we're still okay. 
Um, let's see, the ground point, I think we're okay. I think everything's good here. So I think I kind of got this box positioned how I want, save. <laughs> Cause I, yeah, this is a resource demanding. Uh, anyway, uh, so now you're gonna wanna go into, not the simulation, actually into the simulation and then go to modifiers and you're gonna look for the uh, BP flux uh, modifier source actor or, or what yeah, was it modifier yeah that's the one modifier source actor so that is your water right there isn't that neat <laughs> so basically that's the volume of water that's going to start once you once you click simulate so let's do that first and and hopefully my video card doesn't chug too much I'm just going to save that setup. Hopefully, I don't break, any, break anything. And then we're going to click simulate. And there's the water. Wow. Awesome. Awesome. So cool. And now it's falling down the, uh, the creek. The creek and it's heading down around the water. Now, if you continue to. Now, here's the thing. Initially, it dumped the volume of water that we specified and then it ran out of water there is a way to continue that water flowing and I'll show you how to do that now this has something to do with the amount of water and the amount of space and there being maybe too much water for the amount of space or something like that it's kind of one I'm still trying to figure out a little bit <clears throat> so I'm actually going to reduce that water a little bit and let's click simulate again i think that'll fix the uh the weirdness on the edges because now we have an, an amount of water and an amount of space that's sufficient for it so that's actually running pretty well right now i think i need a little bit of more a little bit more sunshine coming down on the water down here um but that's rad that's awesome okay so uh, and as you can see, there's the boundary at which the fluid flux no longer simulates. How nice is that? Wow. Anyway, that's so great. Um, and a little bit of, yeah, like I say, I'm still trying to exactly figure out how to tweak that so that I think it has to do with water overflow, but I'm not 100% sure when you have like too much water. That's what I think, but I'm not 100% sure. Or it may have something to do with the positioning of my th box. Um, <clears throat> So let's do this. Here's how you can make this water continuously flow, assuming you wanted to do that. So select your uh, your beef heat, not, not your big boundary box, but your little guy here. Click the icon to select that one and go to the fluid flux modifier source. And this determines how long it will play for. If you click, if you go to minus one, that means indefinitely. So if I go ahead and I click simulate now, you can see that that water stays there and continues to flow. And as you can see, we've got that overflow already kind of happening. So I'm going to need to figure out how to sort of block and tweak, block and tweak that. But now the water is, con you know, it's got plenty of water to continue flowing all the way up into our stopping point, which is right here. Some of the water is overflowing uh, beyond the, uh, what's actually, what's blocking it there? I'm not, I'm not sure. Maybe an invisible boundary or something? I'm not sure. Something's blocking it there. Um, but it has the water has found its way around to our true boundary, which I guess is right here. I mean, that's pretty awesome, right? That's pretty awesome. Now we have way too much water overflow going on here, as you can see. Um, because that thing is just pumping out water. So how do we fix that? I don't know. <laughs> it's a good question. Um, maybe something, you know, there would probably be a few ways to kind of go about it. Um, could we block it entirely from appearing here and here? Maybe. Maybe if we take that. No, actually not that. If we take our fluid simulation area and maybe move it down a bit. I'm not really sure actually how to fix that. Let's maybe try something like that and see what happens. Just, you know, I'm just curious. Anyway, that's kind of the tutorial, guys. I'm just going to play around a little bit now. No, it still seems to be going over the edges there. That's kind of the tutorial, and the rest is just going to be me playing around and trying to figure out why that is happening the way it is happening. Why is that happening? Um, 
What could be the answer? Let's see. Let's make that smaller and see what happens. So now we have a smaller flow of water. It is still going through the edges, though. Weird. Why is it doing that? Um, it seems to be doing it in certain locations, uh, but not in other locations. Maybe, you know what I think it is? I think there's too much water flowing within this area. That's what I think it is. The water uh, doesn't have a, a way to go sufficiently uh, quickly enough for it to not also try to simulate in those directions. I think that's probably what it is. I bet you if we just slowed this down, that would actually allow, or maybe we just move the position of this a little bit so it is more inspired to go where we want it to go, maybe? Because now, if it has enough time to sort of... I mean, that's currently working, but as, as the water starts to... Be, see, here's the thing. This will continue continuously pump out water, right? So as it starts to fill up the water volume, it'll potentially start to overflow if it can't keep up with... I think if the drainage can't keep up... There it, there it starts, you can see. So I think what's happening is the drainage isn't keeping up with the speed at which this area is filling up. So maybe if you did something like uh, change the vertical uh, orientation, it would flow down faster and it wouldn't start to overflow the edges. That could be. That could possibly be it. Anyway, I'm not entirely sure, but this is freaking awesome. The only downside of fluid flux, uh, well, the only two downsides of fluid flux. Number one, it's a bit cost prohibited. It's about $350 for the plug-in. Which is not bad, you know, it's not bad considering how awesome this is, but it is, uh, you know, one of the more expensive plugins. Um, that, uh, the other bit is, of course, the kind of limited amount of space at which you can apply this. It would be less open world, more sort of scene specific. Speaking of scene specific, man, if you ignore those funny overflows up there, that looks freaking awesome. That looks so cool. God, that's cool. Okay, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'll see you later.